Hey Virgo, let's get into your weekend messages. We are going into March 8th through the 9th and already three cards have popped out. So let's get into this. Give a time, spy, and open your heart. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on here, Virgo. Give it time, right? Starting on the weekend. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. So yeah, just I feel like that's a strong message. Whatever you have going on in your life, take this weekend and just kind of like whew, exhale. Just do your best to relax. It might have something to do with it connection with the queen of cups about coming together um masculine or feminine energy the star aquarius energy healing holding on okay so there is someone here who's holding on as far as a relationship goes okay or is holding on to the idea of a relationship in other words like hmm is is this person my soulmate somebody might be really thinking about that the star could represent um, someone who's in the spotlight or a public figure as well but I feel like um, somebody doesn't want to lose you Virgo and um, is willing to just kind of let things flow and see how things go I feel like with the star there's someone who's got a, a total attraction to you is really looking at their emotions and their feelings and ready to take that cup of love that drink here look so this deck obviously there's no lid there's no robot we're getting into the real feels here okay you could have somebody who's on the aquarius pisces cusp connection with this person a little bit blocked i will say um or kind of possessive like they're just with the four of pentacles little yeah there's a little bit of a blocking energy so they might not be really showing then or they might not be someone who really shows their emotions too much but i feel like the message here going this is going to be a short reading you guys because listen go over to my instagram because i'm uploading um messages over there right i'm gonna like i started i did a couple and so i'm gonna start doing more of those so it's house o virgo i'm trying to get my instagram followers up as well so yeah if you have if you have instagram go over there so um to my link tree as well in the description box so four pentacles person definitely whomever they are do not want to give up they do not want to let go they don't want to let you go um but i feel like there's a connection here that's going to go forward it's just a matter of when like it's time like there's got to be patience with this um connection now you might meet somebody over this weekend or there's a connection that gets made over this weekend where i feel like somebody here oh gosh it's like really contemplating a little hesitant but definitely not going away definitely not gonna walk away or walk or just give up on something here so like i said there it, either it could be you virgo too or both people there is like a soulmate connection here for sure okay um trying to figure out what this is trying to understand what something is what the energy let me see if i can get like some maybe some initials or a date of birth or anything like that so we've got august 31st the letter x and the letter a so ax could be x or x this could be an x for some of you oh my god are you kidding look <laughs> and then i flip two more letters and it comes out x ex okay so some of you might have gave that the, the x the x and you're meeting somebody new and this is like a beautiful start something you know going slow or uh, and for others and it could be two things can happen simultaneously right virgo or for others there's an ex kind of like showing up here again right and then it's like okay maybe we can try this again so it could be one or the other or both but um <laughs> and it's specifically for august 31st birthdays or or this person could have a birthday on the 31st i can't even believe that just happened spirit was right on it spirit was like this is it don't don't go around the bush we'll just tell you straight up letter f someone works for fedex um someone's 1975 uh age 49 as well or is either one of those is an age okay so i mean i know some of you are like no don't bring the x back i don't want the x and some of you are like yeah okay i want to try to fix things right whatever you do what you got to do you don't have to do anything you don't want to do i'm just the messenger don't yell at me let's see if i can get a zodiac sign 
Okay, for some it's a Sag, okay? Straight, point blank, period. Either the X or the new. Okay, so now let's... I can't believe that. I'm just... Sometimes Sometimes I do readings, I'm just like... Eh, nah, nah, and then boom, Spirit's like, no, no, no. This is what's happening. You're you're right. Spy, someone's got their eye on you. You are... Or you are doing your research or someone's doing their research. Spying on you, watching you, looking at your shadow shows. Okay, yeah, they're being very sneaky, Virgo, this weekend. Ten of Wands. Hmm. Finishing up a job or work and spying to see what you up to. Yeah, not letting you see. Somebody is not letting you. No, no, they're doing it secretly. I don't know why, but hmm, could be a Leo for some of you. Um, okay, this person. They don't have the confidence just yet. They're ge gearing up the confidence. For what? Like, for what? Let me see. They're trying, or they're trying to remain confident? Hmm. I'm looking to see if you're messing around or you're sneaking around or you're, what the hell? Or you're cheating? Oh, okay. They come towards you. Knight of Wands. Wow. Somebody has got the, like, they got it. They got it. It's like I hear Usher. You got it, you got it, you got it so bad. Somebody's got it so bad for you, Virgo. Oh my God, I'm throwing out some usher now. Yes, um, totally lusting after you, physical attraction, so much passion, and they're watching you, Virgo. They are watching you. They might even be cheating or sneaking away from their person. Um, just kind of looking at you, Virgo. Let's see if we can get, okay, some what the hell okay someone's name is the letter z we have age 37 september 7th i'm sorry yeah that or the 10th could be your birthday someone's birthday someone's born in march we have the letter m 1983 okay anything else the letter i mimi uh zoomy um, 43, right? Okay, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the letter could... St the name could be with an M or there's a Z in there somewhere. Let's try and see if we can spe specify like a... Oh, I just heard Tim. Or Tina. Let's get a Zodiac. All right, for some, Taurus. Taurus got their eye on you. Virgo, Taurus has got their eye on you for sure over this weekend. Like they are, they are super, super hot to trot. Now you also have open up your heart. Listen to you. Huh? It will help you attract more love. Okay, Virgo. Whoa. I have not used these cards in a while. I hope they don't get banned. So you got the world like starting over this weekend. A new chapter is coming up for you. And it's asking, they're asking, the universe is asking you to open up. And start something new here. Start flipping the script. Write a new script, I heard. Do it from your heart. Okay. Let go of these, um, any kind of feelings of abandonment. Somebody is definitely doing that with you based on the context of the other cards as well. Someone's opening themselves up to you, ready to start something new with you. Tired of being left out in the cold. Page of Cups, it could be an apology coming this weekend there is um sweet communication as well that's a piscean energy there we also have scorpio leo taurus showing up again and aquarius again um there may be an apology about a heartbreak um or something ending or uh, somebody telling you that they miss you and they love you and they want to connect with you um maybe there was an argument it could have been something like that or some kind of discord or challenge yeah i feel like um so deep feelings somebody's got seriously super 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 deep emotions piscean energy here a lot of water showing up um in this reading super deep feelings yep but they have a crush or somebody's just really into into you here could be that person spying on you but they want to talk to you um tell you that they love you tell you that they're really into you um just want to give you all their love all right let me get some okay somebody's born in february we have the letter i so we could have irene ian um 
Okay, someone's born on the 15th, someone's born on the 4th, and then we have a 1990 energy here. Let's see what else. I can't believe this reading is so short. I hope you guys don't mind. I'll, I'll, I'll try to move it out a little further. 62, 69. Did I say the 15th? I think I did. The letter D, Diana, Dina, Diane. 20, August 29th, someone's 54, Dino, or Dino, <laughs> I know it's always like Dino Nuggies, you chicken nuggets, the letter N, um, someone's name starts with an N, the letter O, there's Dino, D-I-N-O, somebody in the dinosaurs, like what are you doing, okay, the letter S, I'm gonna just get some more here, although I pretty much used them all, and someone born on the 22nd. Okay, let's get some. You know what? I want to get your messages, overall messages here of love to see what is, what is going on. This weekend is like cray cray. Okay, put away the computer this weekend. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Or quit somebody spying on you on the computer and they're trying to get away from that as well. Leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. All right, Virgo, what are you doing? What move are you trying to make here? Whatever, if you're trying to like, if you're like, should I take this leap of faith or not? I'm so afraid I get hurt. Well, I mean, you could stay in the safe zone. Just stay in your, your comfort zone. Looks like it's safe for you to do this. Whatever this thing is that you have on your heart. Someone secretly longs for you, Virgo. Like, don't stress. Um, I feel like if you're wondering if there's a person who's really into you, like super, super, like either missing you or really longing for you, it, it's a true fact that, yes, that is the fact. Yes, that is true. They do. Someone really long. Could be the signs that I mentioned or if you know who this is. If somebody's very, very much into you longs to be with you um distance is bringing clarity at this time maybe for you or for another person um let's see a little too maybe you and somebody else are in some time apart right now i feel like you're gonna get the answer um that maybe this person is unavailable to give you all you deserve or maybe you are um let's see are they I don't know the attraction the chemistry it's totally mutual and this is a true love maybe it's fear maybe you don't think they're available maybe you are, are fearful they won't be there for you okay but i feel like that's not true that is not the case and i feel like somebody's going to show up they want to be with you they want you i feel like somebody's going to show up here perhaps over this weekend and it might be a little bit of surprise um to, to realize maybe you you know maybe you're dealing with self-worth issues or um, maybe from past relationships or you just feel like oh i don't know if it's going to work out you really want to be with someone or you just whether it's one one person in particular or um anybody in general um okay what do you have oh my gosh yeah you've got that see that's the knight of, knight of wands insane chemistry liking each other equally having fun together I mean, Virgo, like the weekend looks like it's passion filled. Um, if you're meeting somebody new, which some of you are, okay. Ooh, the clock is ticking. Time, you gotta have progress, right? Virgo, I feel like you want progress. Somebody wants to progress something here with you. Um, if you have, if this is like an ex coming back, there's like a whole totally changed mindset with this ex. Um, you know, the clock is ticking, like, let's do this, is what I'm hearing. Um, if this is somebody new, it's kind of the same thing. Um, if you're in separation from someone, this person is like, you are, they are yearning, longing. They don't, they're not so sure about the future, especially if you um, end something or you just split and you're taking time to, like, figure some stuff out. Um, this person is missing you like crazy. I'll be missing you. St just too, totally sad thinking about you. They don't know what to think about the future. They want to be with you. Okay. Time is running out for somebody here. And it's like, if we don't do this now, it's done. 
walking away like we like we have to it's not about the love yeah yeah the love is there yeah yeah the attraction the chemistry everything is there we've already figured that out why is something ended you know like uh, somebody took some time to get some clarity about something somebody here wants stability security permanence endurance in a relationship let's get a chinese sign and see if we can figure out i can't even believe how quick this reading went but yo it is what it is it's time to get your party on this weekend i am going to the movies to see a movie called cabrini i have no idea what it's about but i was invited to go so let's do this rabbit ear of the rabbit year of the horse year of the monkey you might know so let me just say if you're already involved with someone like you if you're listening to this and you've recently met someone and it's going well it's going to keep going well that's what i feel like it's so if it's an ex returning things are like this person is ready if it's somebody you're already dating or connecting with it's going to move forward meeting somebody new is going to be the same thing all right we have monkey again so this could be you or or your person or both of you year of the ox we have year of the goat we have ox again year of the tiger year of the dog year of the pig okay you know obviously i always have to say this if your ex comes back you don't want your ex it doesn't change how they're feeling um but what you're going to do about it you have you know you have free you're you're a free agent if you're if you're single and free and you don't want to be with an ex again that's you know totally on you that's up to you all right let me just get a couple of chinese messages here see what else is showing up okay declutter virgo declutter your life let go of correspondence objects and people you no longer want that's the message there someone will hurt your feelings or reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid so if you don't want to be with someone from your past or an ex comes back and you're like nah i got my clarity i don't want that then start decluttering and be done with it don't hang on don't try to keep friends with somebody just move on you also have nature, interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good for the soul and healing for you. And you also have twists and turns. Carefully made plans could be thrown out the window as major changes and interruptions surround you. Make sure you get lots of rest to cope with some upheaval this weekend, Virgo. Okay, I'm going to pick one charm and then I'm going to sign off. I'm ready for this weekend, y'all. Don't forget, again, follow me on Instagram. You can also join... Uh, my channel i'm going to give shout outs before i finish here let's see let me just get my shout outs for those of you if you are new if you have joined my channel you became a member like awesome thank you so much for doing that um 2.99 per month oh i'm on my moon pie tarot channel right now what am i doing hold on you guys one real quick so the charm that we're starting with to kick this weekend off is oh okay karma 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 chameleon um yeah there's that <laughs> like some kind of lizard or toad or i don't know what the hell that thing is but um um that's okay they just told me aries well it's something to do with like these uh, reptiles some kind of reptilian creature that might resonate for you um welcome new members christopher Wynn, shane joseph christy pope oh here we go kimmy i know i said some of you crystal dc limitless jules ryland casey grindle Oh, somebody joined and their channel was deleted. So, okay, I guess they're gone. All right, thank you guys for joining. Super awesome to have you. So, yes, you might see one of these reptilian creatures over the weekend somewhere, somehow, maybe in real life, maybe just a sign on the on the road as you're passing by or maybe your car drives over one if you have these around. Something significant about this here, this thing. Maybe you have one of these pets. Yeah, that's just a qualifier for you. But, um, hmm. They're kind of like cold-blooded, <laughs> aren't they? Um, so, I don't know. Maybe some of you need to be cold-blooded to somebody. 
that is not giving up on you and the relationship's ended, you might take a look at that over this weekend. Um, and for others, honestly, like, here's the thing. If you want to fix something with someone from the past, don't make somebody break through your walls. You got to throw people a bone if that's what you want. Like, if you, like, I'm serious, I'm being serious here. If you really want someone to fix things with you, but you, and you want them to apologize or whatever, you need that from someone to make something right, blocking is not going to allow that to happen, okay? If you're looking for someone to, I don't know, uh, get in touch with you in some way, but you're not giving them access to you, uh, and then you're kick, and then you're upset because they're not reaching out. Like you got to make a decision. But if you don't want that person back, and they're just you feel like they're harassing you and you block them because of that, then that's fine. But I mean, if you're over it, there's really no need to block someone because if if you're if things don't trigger you, you can't can't be affected right so that's up to you you got to figure that out um but get real with yourself about that over this weekend okay i'm gonna leave your message there i know it was quick um i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend i'll be back on sunday again don't forget follow me over on instagram the link is in my link tree the description box below or just type in house o virgo all right you guys have a fantastic weekend i'll see you later hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.